Hey guys, how's it going? It's Not So Ninja bringing you a Halo 4 gameplay. I wanted to start off right away by just apologizing that I haven't had a video out the last two days. Um, I have more family coming into town. I really don't know what it is about like the month of May, but I guess they decided. I guess my family decided that would be the best time to come in and visit and. So they came in to visit, and I don't get to see them very often, and so when they come, I, I normally end up going out and doing a lot of things with them, and uh, they normally end up staying in my room, so I have to sleep on the couch in my living room, which is never fun, and so that's why I haven't had a video out the last few days. I've been very busy with them. I just wanted to thank you all for understanding and not unsubbing because I went one or two days without a video or anything, you know. I'm really glad that uh, you guys stuck around, and... This is another 100 kill game. This actually tops my last one. Instead of two exterminations, I actually get three, and I, I get one more kill. I get one more kill than I did in uh, my last 100 kill lightning flag video, and so this is actually one kill better than the last one. So I really hope you guys uh, end up enjoying this video. I don't really want to talk about the gameplay too much. Uh, you know, obviously it's 100 kills playing uh, lightning flag with a couple friends. I'm just slaying most of the game. I don't really touch the objective that much, and that's how I get the easy kills, but <clears throat> um, what I wanted to talk about today was the new Xbox reveal. I just got done watching the reveal of the Xbox One before doing this commentary, and I just wanted to talk about that this video and kind of go in depth, I guess you could say, on a lot of the things that they showcased and revealed and, and just kind of tell you guys about it because a lot of you who are still in school, or maybe you, you missed it, you didn't get to see it, you didn't know it was on or something, you know, maybe my video will kind of bring you up to speed with what's going on, but, um, well, yeah, first of all, obviously, <coughs> the name of the new console is indeed the Xbox One. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, I'm still a little bit, still a little bit sick, but, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling much better now, it's mainly just in my throat now, which, you know, still sucks, because I have to talk, but, yeah, the new console is the Xbox One. It is going to have um, smart glass, the Kinect, and a new revolutionized revamped controller that looks pretty cool. Hopefully, it's not too, too different from the, uh, the <coughs> Xbox 360 controller because I'd really hate to have to get used to a completely new controller that doesn't feel anything like the last one. But, uh, yeah, they have a new controller. It looks pretty good. They're going to be using Kinect now for voice. The voice is cleared up now, so, you know, that way now, with the Kinect, hopefully it's not going to sound, uh, absolutely horrible, because I don't know if you guys re really remember what Kinect mics sound like, or if you've heard a lot of them, but Kinect mics just sound absolutely terrible. They just sound absolutely horrible when you're trying to talk to someone that has one. I just, it echoes, and it picks up background noise, and it sounds really distant and distorted, and... Hopefully they've really, really picked it up with the Kinect. I'm sure they have. Um, it's got a lot more memory than the previous consoles. It has um, a lot more higher output and RAM, and it just it's going to be a, an overall better console, much, much better graphics, much faster. Um, and it just it looks like it's going to be really good. I had a couple friends say that they were going to go to the PlayStation and all this stuff because all they'd heard was rumors and spec, and they've just been speculating on that alone and. You know, honestly, I had I'd kind of heard what they said, and I didn't really have too much of an opinion. I mean, I was like, you know, I like the Xbox 360 over the PlayStation 3. I'll probably end up just going with the new Xbox over the new PlayStation anyway, just because I've always been an Xbox person. But now, looking at this reveal of the Xbox One, there's not even a question in my mind I'm going with the Xbox. Regardless of the price, regardless of anything like that, you know, you have to pay for a membership, unlike PlayStation where it's free. I'm going with the Xbox One because... There's not a doubt in my mind that Microsoft is going to top anything that Sony could possibly put out. And it just, it looks absolutely amazing, guys. Like, I would definitely, just from just from the reveal, say that the Xbox is going to top the PlayStation by a mile. It just looks like it's going to be an absolutely fantastic console, and I'm super, super excited for it. Um, the graphics look even closer to real life than they ever have. They've gone farther into depth with um, the pixels and the color schemes there's like more textures now there's more there's better lighting and things are just looking in more and more lifelike and I got to see um, I got to see the reveal of Call of Duty Ghosts 
it looked very very cool it looked like a def definitely like a new call of duty experience it almost looks like it has more of a battlefield kind of feel than the previous call of duties have but um i'm actually kind of excited about that i've never really been a huge huge call of duty person i like to play call of duty and i've all you know i have almost all the games for the for the xbox 360 but i've never been the kind of guy that like you know, I wouldn't exactly go to a midnight release of a Call of Duty game. Like, they'd never really excited me that much. But this new Call of Duty game actually looks very, very cool. The campaign looks very, uh, very unique, dynamic, and very, uh, very unlike anything I've ever seen before. The multiplayer is sure to be good. They said they have something like, I can't even remember exactly, but like 300,000 servers for Xbox with the Xbox One, which is somewhere along the lines of... 20 times the Xbox 360's uh, server output, and so it's pretty much going to be like we're playing on dedicated servers all the time. Like, there's going to be no lag anytime, anywhere. Like, that means with movies, with music, with the internet, with uh, gaming, it's going to be pretty much like there's absolutely no lag all the time, which is amazing. That's what I've been asking for since the very beginning of, you know, playing Xbox 360 online, is that there would be no lag. Because lag is just it's such a de determining factor in so many things, especially in gaming. Like, you know, if you're lagging, you know, the advantage that your opponent who's not lagging has over you is just absolutely ridiculous. And hopefully with them, you know, you know, increasing the amount of, of servers that the Xbox has by 20 times, that, that there will be absolutely no lag. It'll feel like we're playing, you know, LAN, local area network, all the time, which is really what I'm shooting for. That eliminates, you know, hosts, it eliminates uh, lag, you know, kind of kind of compensates for if you know you're playing like overseas with foreigners like it really just improves the quality of matchmaking by just a ridiculous ridiculous amount and I'm really really excited to hear about that and see that unfortunately they didn't really talk about Halo too much um I don't remember exactly what they said but I'm pretty sure I heard something about a Halo TV series and if you guys watched uh, Machinima's Ford Unto Dawn, that was absolutely amazing. I loved Ford Unto Dawn. They did a great job with that. That was an award-winning television show that they uh, they had on YouTube. <laughs> and I was just, I was really, really, really impressed with Ford Unto Dawn. And I really wish they would have made more. It was kind of sad to see it go so fast. I felt like it just came and went. And I didn't really, really even get to enjoy the full experience, even if I did watch all the episodes. And... So if that if that is true, if they actually <laughs> are doing a Halo series, like a Halo television series, I am super super excited about that. I cannot wait. It's going to be absolutely amazing. There's no doubt in my mind, especially if it's anything like what they did with Ford Under Dawn. Bonnie Ross, um, the lead director or whatever her position is at 343, she seemed to really have uh, really have some good ideas for what they're going to be doing. Um, I think they're using I think they're going to be using Steven Spielberg, the writer and the movie director for. Uh, to, to be doing the series, which is absolutely great because he's an amazing, amazing writer. The stories and the movies he's directed are just great. You know, they really get you emotionally involved, and I'm really, really excited to just see the work that they do. And this new Xbox console, guys, I know I've already said it, but it just looks amazing, amazing, amazing. And I just, I'm so excited. There's not a doubt in my mind I'm getting the Xbox. I definitely think that you guys should too because there's just, there's for me, there's just nothing that, that we'll be able to compare Microsoft has just blown me away with this reveal today. And at first, my girlfriend, she, um, you know, she texted me and she said, you know, oh, the new Xbox reveal's on, you know, c come watch it and everything. And I was like, I don't really know, you know, if I feel like watching or not. Because, you know, I was playing and I, was, I wasn't too stoked. I, did, I didn't really think that it was going to be anything special. Honestly, just from being around my friends and they're, they're ridiculously negative about everything all the time. And, and just being around them, it just kind of killed my vibe. And I was just like, I don't really know if I like watching it. Like, is it even going to be anything worth, like, stopping playing and coming to watch? But I did. I listened to her, and I do not regret it at all. Like, I, w I went and watched it, and the new Call of Duty looks amazing. Halo looks great. Um, I really wish they would have showed more about Halo, like I said. But, I mean, that's okay. I mean, I'm sure there'll be more to come. They haven't exactly announced Halo 5 yet, so I can't really expect too much of them unless they were to have announced it at the reveal, but... You know, E3 is coming up in a few weeks. Maybe they'll announce it there. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. But uh, hopefully Halo 5 definitely has some drastic improvements from Halo 4. Because anyone that plays Halo 4, you know, if you if you like Halo 4, that's cool. You know, I mean, I definitely don't think that Halo 4 is anywhere near the best game in the series. I mean, obviously it's not for anyone that's played Halo since the beginning. But 
I feel like the game is at least tolerable now after a lot of updates. And I mean, the game isn't terrible. I have a lot of friends still hate on this game, but it's not that bad anymore. Like I can play this game without like you know getting up, getting too upset. You know, I don't really rage or anything when I play it. It's kind of just. It's kind of whatever now. I'm pretty mellow with it. I've gotten used to the way things are. But hopefully Halo 5 has some drastic improvements from uh, from before. But uh, yeah, just everything looks great. The, they showed a lot of sports games. And the sports games look really, really cool. I've never really been a sports game kind of player for uh, for the Xbox. But I might actually try that now. They showcased Forza. I never really played Forza. But uh, I, my cousin played that game some. And so I might, uh, I might actually play that game too. Like... Just seeing the reveal and what they've done with these games has gotten me excited to play them. Like, it's made me want to actually go out and kind of play these other games and just kind of venture out and see what they're like because they look like such they have such a high quality and they're going to. And um, the Xbox One, it's just it's amazing. The Xbox One is coming out um, at the sometime at the end of this year. I'd say probably November, or December. So if you don't already, if you haven't already, go ahead and start saving up money, guys. Get a job if you're old enough. Starts, you know, just begging your parents and pleading with them to give you, to spot you some cash so that you can get this console when it comes out. Because I promise you, you're going to want to have this console from day one. I'm not going to want to go one day without this console. I don't want to wait one second. I want to be there at midnight. I want to be the first guy to get the console. I don't care if I have to camp out for days peeing in Mountain Dew bottles to get this console. I want to get this console the day it comes out because it just looks so amazing. And I'm so, so excited about it. I just cannot express to you guys the excitement that is within me about this console. But yeah, it's just, everything looks great. Um, they also showcased how you'll be able to go and watch t um, pretty much every television channel um, out there. You know, you'll be able to watch On Demand, you'll be able to watch HBO, things like that. It would just the, just the command of your voice. And it just, like, I'm super excited about it. It's just, it's amazing, guys. It's, it's absolutely great. I know I've said it's great. I know I've said it's amazing. But I'm just so excited about it that I can't stop stressing that enough. You guys definitely are going to have to get the Xbox One because there, there's going to be nothing that will be able to compare to it in my mind. And honestly, I'm super, super excited to, for the next generation of gaming. I also saw some little feature like you'll be able to, to capture in-game. They didn't really go in-depth on it. They kind of just said it for one second and like, kind of showcased it. But I don't know if that means there's going to be like a PVR built into the console and you can like bring it up at any time and capture your gameplay and share it on networks like uh, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. But if that's the case, then that's going to open up such a large, large variety and network for, for YouTubers. People that have never had the money or been capable to, to do YouTube videos will now be able to make their own YouTube videos in HD whenever they want. And I'm not sure if that's exactly what's going to happen or not, but that's just, it's kind of my personal speculation. Like I said, they didn't talk about it long, so no guarantees there. But nonetheless, absolutely amazing. Just so many new things that are being incorporated. It's just revolutionizing gaming and really media as a whole, guys. Just like electronics in general are just taking such a leap for it. And I'm just so, so stoked for this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I really hope it informed you. Like I said, I'm really sorry I haven't had videos out the last two days. But I promise you I will have more videos out. Um, starting today, I will be able to put videos up you know, daily again, please, please be sure to leave a like on this video, that way more people will be able to, to, um, you know, just kind of hear it and kind of see what the new Xbox is going to be about, and, uh, you know, also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it so much, it's so helpful when you guys subscribe to me, um, I'm Not So Ninja, signing off now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, have a wonderful day, I will see you all tomorrow, take it easy, guys.